Okay, we're going to talk about opening your bank account. Now, you'd be shocked by how many people get incorporated, get their tax ID number, and take months to open up a bank account. Now, I did a video, hopefully you watched it, on the importance of opening a bank account. So procrastination is not a, an option here, folks. If you want to run a business, you need to have a separate bank account. Not only that, it makes our job a lot harder when you don't. So what we want to accomplish is having one business bank account where all of your transactions go through and maybe one or two credit cards. And, and that's what we want to do uh, to streamline everything, compartmentalize all of your business transactions so that it's easier to do your bookkeeping, which makes it easier to do your tax planning. So this is really all for you. And it's for us because that's how we, we keep our prices lower. Okay. Nobody can compete with us on our pricing because we have these, these procedures and these policies. So all, you only really need two things to open a bank account. Uh, you need your tax ID number and your, your certificate of incorporation. Now, some states might, or some banks might ask you for additional info. For instance, if you're in California, you need to file a statement of information. They, some banks might ask you for that. Now, just be aware that the individuals that open your account have very, very little experience in working with, with corporations. So what I would appreciate is when you open your account and, and you're having an issue, let me know. I've been able to walk uh, bank employees through the, the opening the bank account process because some a lot of times they just don't know they might be looking for the actual letter from the irs for the tax id number i can understand that uh sometimes it's not available but you know they do need it they do need it and that's why it's important that you keep those documents now what we do when we obtain a federal tax ID number is we, we save the document. So if you've lost a document, if you don't have your certificate of incorporation, we can always get it for you. We save the certificate and you can actually go to the secretary of state in your state and download it if you need to, but there's really no need to uh, unless you're no longer a client of ours. But you know, the truth is that uh, this information is available you can always get it, and it should not stop you from opening your bank account. So again, all you need to bring to the bank – oh, and you, you obviously need ID. <laughs> so you need your ID. You need your tax ID number, your, the tax ID number for the new business, and your certificate of incorporation. All right, over and out. I hope that helps. Thank you.